And I think the biggest thing is, which I think stops a lot of people, including myself, was that you so wrapped up in the how that that kind of said, oh, gosh, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But if you stop thinking about the how and you will start doing it, whatever that is, you know, baby steps, uh, big steps, and you will start working towards what you want. Mm -hmm. I believe that's the, the the big thing. You get so wrapped up in your own BS that you tell yourself in your head. And I love your your quote, and I steal it from you all the time. The itty bitty shitty committee <laughs> that sits on your. I mean, that's the best quote I ever heard. I'd say it all the time. People love it. it. It's it's so true. You have that little committee, and sometimes they're screaming at you, and sometimes they're whispering but it's always there and you all, you just have to learn how to shut them up. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I, I love what you just said, get out of the how and get into the doing it. So many people overanalyze what to do, how to do it, that it, they, they get so lost in that, in that analysis paralysis that they never step into just doing it. Right. Yeah. I, I, I loved how you phrased that. Now, I'm, I'm really curious, you know, I can, I can only imagine because I've somewhat been there, you know, um, never lived in my car. Uh, however, having 16 cents in the bank and a multi-million dollar business embezzled from me, I, I know what it's like to be destitute. And uh, I was, I was blessed to have a home to not be kicked out of. It was basically mine to lose at that point, right? Mm -hmm. So for me at that time, success, success was really defined by putting food on my table and feeding my kids and keeping a roof over their head. Yeah. You know, today, today I define success much, much differently. 